Good morning, good morning. Today is Monday, February 15th, 2021. Coach Rich in the house. Upper body work coming up today. A lot of pushing, a lot of pulling. We're gonna be warming up with a little down dog to an opposite foot toe touch. And then we're also gonna be doing a dead bug today. The dead bug that we're gonna do is gonna be with a band. So if you have a band, anchor that up against the wall. If you're not gonna use a band, that's fine. Traditional dead bug is cool. Main piece number one, today's theme is gonna be an on the minute, but instead of a traditional on the minute, we're gonna be going on the 30 second. So you're gonna have 30 seconds to get eight to 12 reps in of each exercise. Once we finish all three exercises, you're gonna go for a full 30 second rest. So for example, main piece number one, we're gonna go on the second for 30 seconds for eight to 12 reps with a single arm press, half kneeling overhead. And then we'll rest, wait to the top of the next 30 seconds, eight to 12 on the other side. And then exercise number three, you're gonna go max reps. So you're either gonna go for that full 30 second long set or you're gonna do as many as you possibly can do in 30 seconds without your form breaking down. All right, and then we'll take a 30 second rest and we'll repeat that thing. So we're gonna do a section like that for main piece number one and main piece number two with the exercises being just a little bit different. So it's gonna be a single arm row, single arm row, max push up. And then we'll be finishing with a little bit of core work. We're gonna do a little plank build up plus a mountain climber and then a little old school foot anchored sit up. Whew. Let's do it. Over-unders here. Big fluid arm swings. Let's get to it. It's gonna be a good one. Oh man. I'm sitting at a, a nice 52 degrees this morning. I'm gonna be moving around. <laughs> arms up, arms down. Remember when you're doing this one, you're pointing your thumbs back behind your body. So big kind of rotation through the thumb, through the arm. And as you're moving through, three, two, one, step in front, big side bends. Oh, push into your hip, drive through your side, through your oblique, through your lats, through your rib cage. Get a big old bend in there. Three, two, one more. Oh, all right, let's take it to the ground. Hit a couple cat cows real fast. Round your spine, exhale. Arch your spine, inhale. Hit a couple of those. After a couple of those, we're gonna go into our half kneeling flow that we've been working on now for a while. Leg is coming up. Hand is opposite our forward foot. We're gonna go out, down, open, switch arms, open, hand down, rock back, butt shift side to side. Yes, repeat, same flow. Foot is forward, pushing away, down, open, open, down, back, in a little hip shift side to side. Oh baby, all right. So, we're gonna get into this thing real fast. Our starter is going to be a down dog to an opposite toe touch. So you know your downward dog, but now once you kind of work up into it, I'm going to go right hand to my left foot, left hand to my right foot, and then I'm going to flatten back out. So I'm going to walk up, touch, touch, walk out, walk up, touch, touch, walk out. All right. So that's number one. Number two is a banded dead bug. Banded dead bug, I'm just gonna grab a band here. I got this thing anchored, oh, maybe it's about head height or so. I'm gonna take the band, I'm just gonna kinda pull it over the top of my chest about here. I'm gonna elevate my feet up off the ground, exhale, drop a leg and switch. Drop a leg and switch. Okay, if you're not gonna use the band, you're just gonna go traditional dead bug, arm and opposite leg. All right, so the band is just a, gonna be a little bit extra, all right? But if you don't have the band, don't worry about it. All right, this is gonna be a four rounder. 
So we're gonna do four um, on each exercise. We're gonna work for 25 seconds. We're gonna rest for 20 seconds, all right? So 25 on, 20 off, alternating between the downward dog to the opposite toe touch, and then that banded uh, dead bug leg lower. Alrighty, so let's get into it here, y'all. As you know, let's work hard, let's have some fun. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're on the clock here in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, here we go. Downward dog to the opposite toe touch, set up in a high plank. Here we go, walk it up, touch, touch, walk it out. Walk it up, touch, touch, walk it out. All right, we're gonna reset. We're gonna grab our band here. We're gonna be laying on our backsides. I'm gonna take this band. I'm gonna get some good tension on it. I'm gonna pull it right up over the front of my chest. Elevate my legs up in the air. One. Remember, when we're doing these dead bugs, your head is totally relaxed on the ground. Your low back is pushing into the floor. I'm gonna exhale first. Push all the air out of my belly and then reach my leg long. I want to think about tapping my calf to the floor. Whew. That was one set. We're resetting. We're going to do this again. Starting the high plank, work it up into down dog, and then opposite toe touch. Remember, you can go touch right, touch left and then walk it back out to high plank. Ready? Here we go, walk it up, touch, touch, walk it out. Flipping back around, resetting from the floor. All right, finding our band, taking that band, giving it a nice pull. Ready? Here we go. Exhale, reach one leg, reset. Exhale, reach the other leg, reset. down two to go all right halfway through our warm-up here crew halfway through the warm-up shake it out hopefully we're starting to warm up a little bit all right all right step number three back to high plank push your hands through the ground core nice and tight touch touch walk it out active through the hands active through the shoulders tight through the core the whole set Exercise is trying to take my shirt off. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Setting up with that band again. Banded dead bug or no dead bug. Or I should say no band. <laughs> Still doing the dead bug. <laughs> Exhale, big reach. Back to it. 
Back to it. All right, let's see. One more time through here. One more time through, one of each. All right, one series of high plank to dead bug and a bit leg lower. Here we go. Walk it up, touch, touch, walk it out. All right, all right here, crew. Last time here, last time here. Make it a good one, make it a good one. Grabbing your band, setting your hands, flattening your back into the floor. Big exhale, opposites reach, here we go. Okay, moving right along. So, warm up is done. We're gonna move on here, crew. So our first work piece, number one, it's gonna be a half kneeling overhead press and then a wide row. So half kneeling overhead press and then a wide row. So here's what that looks like. I'm just gonna grab a little band, a little mat action right here. So I'm just using a little mat to rest my knee onto. All right, whatever weight that uh, you have the arm in, so whatever side that you're pressing, that knee is gonna go down. So if I'm pressing with my left arm, left knee is on the ground, weight is racked at the shoulder, exhale, pressing straight up and overhead. One, two. We're gonna do eight to 12 reps on one side in that 30 second work block. So you have 30 seconds to do eight to 12 reps. Once you're done, you're gonna rest. You're gonna switch um, legs and switch hands. And then at the top of the next 30 second, you're gonna go for the opposite arm. Once we've done our left and the right, the third exercise is gonna be a row. So if you want, you can use the straps for the row. All right, if you're not gonna use straps, You'll use the, uh, the dumbbells. Regardless of what you're gonna use, the pull is gonna be high and wide with the arms. All right, so if I'm on the TRX here, when I sit up and I pull, my elbows are going out away from my sides. Okay, and up and out. Now, if you're not gonna use the straps, you're gonna use the dumbbells or some kettles. The positioning is the same. So you need to go a little bit lighter here than you normally would. Because when you're pulling, you're going out to the sides. All right, so it's coming out this way away from your body. On these, you're just gonna do as many as you can do. So the ideal is you'll find that kind of sweet spot right between the eight and 12 again. Once we finish the row, we're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we're gonna do that whole sequence again. Alrighty, so it's gonna be a total of um, five sets for everything. All right. Whee! So we're going on the 32nd. We're gonna start with the half kneeling overhead press. Right side, half kneeling overhead press, left side, and then the row. All right, so we're on the clock in 10 seconds. So I'm gonna start with my left side here. Can use one weight, left side, eight to 12. Here we go. All right, I got 12, that felt pretty good. Switching hands. All right, same move. Ready? 12 reps, here we go.
Ah. Woo. And then our row. So we're gonna bang out this row. Remember, we're gonna take a long rest after we finish this. Here we go. I felt nine felt pretty good for me right there. Now we're gonna take a little rest here. We're gonna take 30. So we did one set. So now you kind of have seen the pace here a little bit. So it's kind of fast, 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 recover. One, two, three, recover. All right. If you got to that 12th rep and it felt pretty easy, then we gotta go up a little bit. If you couldn't get eight, you gotta go down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stick with around 10 reps. Here we go. felt pretty good for me right there. Whatever knee is down, you're squeezing that glute. Exhale as you press overhead. Here we go. hands, palms away. Here we go. Hit your numbers. Ah. Woo. Woo. For some reason, nine. Nine's been around that one. <sighs> All right, couple things. On the overhead press, let's think about the finish position here. So when that weight goes overhead, we want to stack the weight in line with our shoulder and our shoulder in line with our ear. We don't want that thing out in front. We don't want to be arching from our back. All right, so think nice and tall, straight up and down. Here we go. Man, that thing is cold. Woo. Here we go, opposite side. Reset, switch quick. Let's hit our pulls. Cruising, cruising, cruising. All right, three sets done. Three sets done, we can do two more. So a little shake out here, a little shake out. Whoo, going for set four. So set, remember, set four, set five. These are challenge sets. So that means if you felt like you had a little bit more to give, this is when you bring it right now. All right, this is when you turn it loose. 
All right, right at the end here. Sets four and five. All right, here we go. Let's get our numbers here, crew. Come on. And then our row. Press, press, pull. <sighs> Whew. All right. One to go. One more to go here. Take 30, then we're gonna bring the heat again. Take 30, then we're gonna bring the heat again. Whoo! The second sequence that we're gonna do after this, very similar, except it's gonna be a little bit longer. It's gonna be a single arm row, single arm row, and then a max attempt in push-ups. So we're either gonna do push-ups for 30 seconds straight, or as many good push-ups as you can do in 30 seconds. All right, let's finish this thing. Here we go. Burn and finish. <laughs> All right, good work here, crew. Good work. Little sip while we get ready for the next one. All righty. So, coming up next here, the pattern, the model is the same. So, it's going to be row, row, push up on the 30, on the 30, on the 30, rest for 30. All right, on the row, I'm gonna use my bench. I'm gonna put one hand down there. If I'm pulling with my right arm, my right foot is staggered back. I wanna get my chest as flat over the ground as I can. And then when I pull, I'm driving my elbow back towards my hip, keeping a little bit of daylight between my arm. I'm gonna use this one, it's warmer. <laughs> <laughs> my arm in my side here. So I'm pulling. And I'm coming out and back, a little bit of space. Rep scheme is the same. Eight to 12 pulls on the right arm, weight to the top of the 30, eight to 12 pulls on the left arm. Then we're gonna do a max effort push-up. 
So you're either gonna go push-ups for 30 seconds straight or as many push-ups as you can do in 30 seconds. All right, so this sequence is just a little bit longer. All right, we're gonna be doing a total of six sets per each exercise. All right, row right, row left, max attempt push-up. All right, with the push-ups, you can do those however you like. You can go hands elevated up on the bench, you can go traditional, or you can go knees on the ground. If you want to spice it up, you can elevate your feet, put your feet up on top of the bench with your hands on the ground. That would be a little harder than a regular push-up. All right, but find something that you could at least do eight reps with. If you, if you can do more, even better. All right, single arm row on the clock in 10. Let's go to work here. Single arm row. Eight to 12 reps. Ah, 12 felt pretty good. Shake it out. I'm gonna go 12 on the other side. Two, one, here we go. Feel your shoulder blade moving towards and away from your spine as you're pulling. Max attempt push-up coming up next. Max attempt. Here we go. felt pretty good. All right, let's chill out. One round down, five to go. We're gonna rest for 30. Resting for 30. Then we're back into this thing here. Single arm row coming up, a little bit of daylight. Feel that shoulder blade moving towards your spine as you're hitting that row. Are you ready here, crew? Let's go. Switch up. And then our push-up. Try to hit your number. Hit your number on your push-up. Let's go. Seconds that felt a little spicy. Ah, love it. All right, it's warming up. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. All right, two sets down. Four to go. Two down. Four to go. We're all right. We're all right. Back to work here with our row. Back to work here with our row. On the clock in ten. Come on, let's hit our numbers here. Let's hit our numbers here. Backs are flat, core is tight. 
Elbow back for the hip. Switch up, here we go. Push up, here we go. Take 30. Take 30, we're halfway through. All right, all right. So we're moving nicely, we're moving right along. We're moving right along in this thing. We're halfway through. All right, let's take a little self audit. Was that weight for our row, was that appropriate? Was it giving us a nice level of challenge? Did we feel like we could do way more than 12? If so, bump up. If we couldn't get eight, bump down. Find that sweet spot. Here we go. Left side, let's go. Same idea. And then our push up. And then our push up, come on. Let's go, let's go push up. Ah. Okay, okay, let's take 30. Rolling, rolling here, crew. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Four sets down, two to go. Four down, two to go. Challenge sets here. You know how we like to do it. The last two sets, these are our push sets. All right, these are our push sets. This is when you go get it. Come on now. Here we go, round five. Let's go. Shake out. Left side. Push up. Come on. 
Come on, we're working today. We're working today. Okay, final round. Final round, now's where we go get it. Now's we go after him a little bit. Set number six. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Taking no prisoners today, uh-uh. I want them all. No rep left behind. Let's go to work. Breathe, stay calm. Don't panic on these last sets. Don't panic, stay in the battle. Ah, whoo, and last push up, let's go hard here. Good work, crew. Good work, crew. Yes. All right. All right. So, big finish today. Some core work. Yeah, some core work. Would you figure that? Would you figure that? I'm going to bring my mat out here a little bit. And here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing two exercises here. So I'm gonna use these little dumbbells to help kind of anchor my feet down. If you don't have dumbbells, <clears throat> find something else to kind of lay across your feet so that, ouch, you can have a little bit of anchor when you're doing these. All right, so when we're doing a, uh, an anchored setup, you got a couple of options where what you wanna do with your hands. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you're going to start with your hands over your head. You're going to throw them over the front and kind of use this momentum to roll yourself up and roll yourself down. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you're going to cross your arms over your chest like this. Roll yourself up, roll yourself down. And then if you want to make it harder still, you're going to go hands behind the head. Roll yourself up, roll yourself down. All right, so that's gonna be exercise number one. And then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is a plank buildup plus a mountain climber. So a plank buildup plus a mountain climber, we're gonna be getting down on our forearms. From here, we're gonna come up to our hands, pop, pop, and then we're gonna go in with our knees. One, two, three, four, down, up. So we're gonna do the knees in when we're up on our hands. All right, so you can go from your forearms, up to your hands, four knee in, one, two, three, four, back down to your forearms and back up. All right, so that's all we're doing right here. We're gonna do a total of five sets per exercise. So 10 total working sets. All right. These are gonna follow a classic 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. All right, so 20 on, 20 off alternating between these two exercises, five for each. All right, excuse me. We're gonna start 
with our feet anchored sit up here crew. Alrighty, on the clock in 10. All right, roll yourself up, roll yourself down. Here we go, one spinal segment at a time. Count how many reps you're getting and use that as your goal for every set after this. Okay, quick transition. We're gonna set up in a plank, and then from that plank, you're gonna come up to the hands, then once you're in the hands, four quick knee ins, then all the way back down. Ready, ready. Here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, down. Right back up. One, two, three, four, down. Back up. Excellent. Switching back around. Switching back around. All right, so we did one round. No big deal. We got four more. So that first one should have felt pretty easy. All right, that should have felt pretty easy. Here we go. Hit your numbers. reason that second set <laughs> I felt one leg work already <laughs> I was thinking oh yeah this is gonna be a nice uh, easy finish not so fast here we go up to the hands knee in two three four back down and up Ah, two down, two down, three to go. And set number three here, as I sit up, I'm gonna add a little bit of twist. So I'm gonna go up and add just a little bit of rotation. Ready? sit-ups been around for ages they still work all right they still work now I wouldn't say it's the only core exercise you need to do but mixed into your program nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with it at all here we go Okay, three sets down, three sets down, two to go. Push sets, push sets. You know we like our push sets. This is when we go a little harder. Sets four, sets five. All right, let's bring the pain here. Let's bring it. Come on. devil. <laughs> Second to last one of these. Ready? Let's go.
Ah, all right. Final set. Final set. We got this. Let's get this core. Let's get this core. Come on. Come on. Ooh, belly's feeling good. Feeling good old work there in that core. Ready, ready. Let's go. Build up to climber, build up to climber. We got this here, we got this. Ah, come on. laying on the bellies let's take a couple big belly breaths resting our forehead on our forearm and then from here we're gonna go into our press-ups breathe to the belly first start with your hands further away from your shoulders and your head and ease into it. So the closer you bring your hands to your shoulders and your face, the bigger the stretch is gonna be. Big breath into the belly. And then we'll counter that move sitting back. A little child's pose. cat cows and then into our half kneeling flow leg is coming up just like we started going out down open one more time out down open rock back hip shift side to side get that hamstring right there and then we'll switch. Same idea. Out. Down. Open. One more time. Out. Down. Open. Rock back. Hip shift. Whew. All right, so good stuff today, y'all. 